Errol Spence did the game a favor by corralling all the belts on the one side for a potential Terrence Crawford fight. That's what I want to explore in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. SLC. Subscribe, like, and comment. Now you know this video was coming. It was only a matter of time. You know I was coming to drop the heat. And I seen a recent interview with Derek James. He was preparing for Frank Martin's fight, and it was fight week. Frank Martin looked good. He looked sharp in his particular fight against a guy that faced Roly Romero, and that was Marinez, Jackson Marinez. Now, in this preparation of fight week, of course, Errol Spence came up, and Errol Spence questions, and they were asking Derrick James about a potential Terrence Crawford fight. And Derrick James, I'm just paraphrasing here, he said that he don't want to see Terrence Crawford take a tune-up with another PBC fighter. Now is the time, and it makes the most sense at this given moment. Now, this is going to hurt a lot of the Bud Buddies because this is exactly what Derrick James is saying is exactly what I've told you many, many times, times over on my channel. Errol Spence has done, and anybody, if you're a day one A1 fan of Boxing Ego, you guys can attest to this. You can pull up the beauty of YouTube and being on a platform like this is you don't have to take my word for it. The proof is in the pudding, like Bill Cosby. I would like to put the pudding with the Errol Spence and the Frank Martin, you see, in the pudding, right? The proof is in the pudding. At the end of the day, all of the videos that I record, I do not delete videos, right? So you can witness everything that I've said on the channel. That being said, my A1s can attest to me. I've always maintained this. Errol Spence, he did the game a favor because the, the narrative that was being spun was that Errol Spence was afraid, ducking and dodging against Terrence Crawford, which if you think about it, it never made sense because, okay, yes, you could argue, one could argue that Errol Spence Jr. could have fought Terrence Crawford several years ago, right? The problem with this thinking that literally makes no sense, for one, Errol Spence told you the game plan way back in like 2017, 2018, because I was at the fight. I believe it was Danny Garcia versus sean porter fight errol got on the mic and he told you he said terrence crawford is where he's at and keep you know keep your belt warm keep winning keep doing your thing i'm gonna clean up my side of the street and i remember at this given point this became almost like a talking point where some people berated errol spence for saying size of the street and you even heard terrence crawford do subsequent interviews where he said oh there's not going to be no excuses and size of the street but i never understood that it's not an excuse when it's a reality like how is it an excuse if what he's saying is an actual reality it is much easier for any promoter to facilitate in-house fights top rank did this for years Manny Pacquiao, when he was with top rank, he could have fought anybody on PBC. Danny Garcia was winning, fighting Zab Judah and guys like knocking out Amir Khan. Why didn't they make Danny Garcia versus Manny Pacquiao? Why didn't they do Adrian Broner versus Brandon Rios? Top rank never made any of those types of fights. And you look at Golden Boy. Golden Boy works currently. I'm talking about currently. So the top rank, I'm saying some like fights years ago and stuff. But even look at Golden Boy today. Name a, a fight where they've worked with somebody like Ryan Garcia versus Javante Davis, where they're clearly working, or Jaime Munguia versus Jamal Charlo. You're not seeing it, but somehow, some way, only the PBC is being reprimanded for the sides of the street and doing in-house fights when they have clearly have the stable to do it and that's what errol spence that's what's been keeping him busy for the last several years so it never made sense it was a forced narrative and i told you that from the jump 
you know, because again, you look at Golden Boy. How come Golden Boy hasn't done Zordo Ramirez versus Eddie Hearn fighter Dimitri Bevel? How come Eddie Hearn does not have many fights with Frank Warren, except for when it's a mandatory like Dillian White and Tyson Fury? How come on their own free will, they haven't made Dillian White versus like Daniel Dubois? With no mandatories, no one forcing you to do it because that's just the way boxing is set up. It's not the UFC where everything's under one umbrella. And Errol Spence said this from the jump. People reacted a certain way, but this man went out and did everything he said he was going to do from the beginning. And then now that Crawford is a free agent, you see how easy it looks like. Make sure you guys come in and subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. And you see now with him being a free agent, it provides more flexibility. And now they're saying this fight is closer than ever. Officially, there's nothing that's that's come out and said we're absolutely getting it. But you got to admit, it looks a lot more promising now. And, you know, this narrative that Errol Spence was ducking is just foolish because at the end of the day, if Errol Spence would have fought Crawford years ago, he just fought Ugas and became the unified champion in that fight. And he fought Sean Porter in 2019 and unified in that fight. So if he would have fought Terrence Crawford, then he would have been fighting for two belts, you know? And then that means the winner of that fight would still have to go out and, you know, fight the winner of Pacquiao Ugas or track Sean Porter down or whatever the case was, depending on how they split it up. And that makes no sense because it sounds a lot more appealing to have Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Spence Crawford, undisputed. Now it's for all the marbles. So in actuality, Crawford has one belt that he got in his first fight at welterweight. So Errol Spence did the heavier lifting and one by one corralled and lassoed all the belts and herded the cows, right? If, if the cows were scattered all across the farm, Errol is like the sheep herder and he herded all the cows and got them in one concentrated location back in the fence. That's something that you would imagine would be beneficial. Now Terrence Crawford coming fresh off of free agency can fight one man and fight for all the marbles as opposed to any other time in the last several years where the belts were scattered. You know, Errol Spence is the Thanos of the welterweights. He has all the infinity stones except for one, and he's just trying to collect the last one from Terrence Crawford. Boom. Let me know how I did in this video. Subscribe, and I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.